high viewers we want to look at how we can find angle OAB in this diagram now there is a property in circuit theory which state that anytime a chord let's say AB creates an angle at the center of the circle we form an isosceles triangle because line OB is equal to line OA and its radius all right now with the property of an isosceles triangle these angles are equal by doing that we can say let angle OAB should be equal to angle OBA or equal to X so we can put X here and also put X here there is a property in triangles that anytime we sum all the interior angles it must be equal to 180 degrees therefore we can say x plus x plus 80 should be equal to 180 we simplify this as 2x plus 80 equal to 180 we have 2x equal to 180 minus 80 we have 2x equal to 100 we divide both sides by 2 so that we can get x and x is going to be 50 degrees therefore we can say that angle OAB is equal to 50 degrees viewers use the same concept to find angle OXY and leave your answer in the comment section don't forget to share to others to enjoy Thank you. hi viewers we want to look at how we can find angle ACB in this diagram. But from the question, we have been given the angle at A to be 20 degrees. Now, there is a property in second theorem which states that anytime a chord, let's say AB, creates an angle at the center of the circle, we form an isosceles triangle because OB is equal to OA in the sense that OB and OA are radius and base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal therefore we can say that angle OAB should be equal to angle OBA equal to 20 degrees so if the angle here is 20, we can find the angle at the center using the property that when we sum all the interior angles in the triangle, it must be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can say 20 plus 20 plus angle AOB should be equal to 180. 20 plus 20 will give us 40 plus angle AOB equal to 180. Angle AOB will be equal to 180 minus 40. Angle AOB will be equal to 140. Now that we know the angle at the center to be 140, there is a property in the second theorem which states that the angle at the center of a circle, which is angle AOB, will be equal to 2 multiplying angle ACB. So this is another property that we need to know. Therefore, we can say that angle ACB will be equal to angle AOB divided by 2. Alright? So finally, we can say angle ACB, angle AOB, we have it to be 40, sorry, 140. So we have 140 here divided by 2, and angle ACB is going to be 70 degrees. So this is how we can find our angle. Viewers, use the same concept to find angle X, Z, Y in this diagram. And leave your answer in the comment section don't forget to share to others to enjoy thank you hi viewers we want to look at how we can find angle dbe in this diagram 
from the diagram we can see that line AC is a straight line which is tangent to the circle at B and also line BD is a chord now where the chord and the tangent they meet an angle is formed and this angle that is formed is equal to the angle that the chord which is BD creates at the circumference here so the angle here and the angle here are equal so here will be 30 so we can say that angle DBC should be equal to angle DEB equal to 30 degrees now if the angle here is 30 the angle here is 40 and we are looking for this angle we are going to sum all the angles within the triangle and equate it to 180 degrees therefore we can say that our 30 plus 40 plus angle DBE should be equal to 180 30 plus 40 will give us 70 plus angle DBE should be equal to 180 angle DBE will be equal to 180 minus 70 all right therefore angle DBE will be equal to 110 degrees so this is how we can get our angle here use the same concept to find angle a y w and leave your answer in the comment section thank you viewers we want to look at how we can find angle o b d in this diagram but before then let us try to use some basic concept of circuit theory to analyze this diagram now we can see that line a c is a straight line which is tangent to the circle at B. We can also see like BD to be a chord. And this chord here creates an angle at the circumference here. Now, the angle between the chord and the angle that the chord creates at the circumference here are equal. So the angle here will be 40. So we can say that angle DBC should be equal to angle BED equal to 40 degrees viewers again this angle here and this angle have a relationship and we can say that angle BOD is equal to 2 multiplying angle BED all right and this is one of the properties that we need to know therefore angle B O D will be equal to 2 multiplying angle B E D and angle B E D is 40 so we have our 40 here so angle B O D will be equal to 80 degrees viewers line B D is a chord which creates an angle at the center of the circle here Therefore, this triangle we see here is an isosceles triangle and base angles are equal. Therefore, we can say that let angle, let angle OBD equal to angle ODB equal to X. So, if here is X, here is X, we can say X plus X. Plus the angle at the center which is 80 should be equal to 180 we have 2x plus 80 equal to 180 so 2x equal to 180 minus 80 so we have 2x equal to 100 we divide both sides by 2 and our x is going to be 50 degrees viewers from this we can say that angle obd should be equal to 50 degrees so this is how we can get our angle viewers use the same approach to find angle oyw in this diagram and leave your answer in the comment section thank you